I spent my morning cutting out Simplicity 9597 and I want to make View B which is a jumpsuit and I'm going to be using this brown 100% cotton fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics and I just want to do kind of like a test run. I'm going to make up the dress and just see how everything looks especially the bodice. I did make two changes so far. So for the straps, instead of having like one strap on each side, I decided to take the strap piece and I cut it out four times on the fold. That way I can have two straps in the front, two straps in the back, and then I can pull the straps up and then tie them at the shoulders and make like a bow. The other change that I made was to the back bodice piece. So I took the back bodice piece and added this extension to it so that I will have a strap and then I can take this strap and tie it in a knot or tie it in a bow in the back. And I cut out a size eight. This extension that I added to the back of the bodice piece is about 19 and a half inches long. I just had to share this. So my husband does not like to see my little mini dress form naked with nothing on it. So this is his drape. He took one of my pajama tops and draped it over the top. Look at that. It's actually kind of cute. He is a hot mess. The back bodice is supposed to be finished with loops and buttons. The back of my bodice will look something like this since I added this strap to it. This is the front so far. There is a lining that will be made the same way and it will go on top of this. I sewed the seam for the straps at 5 8 of an inch. If I had sewn them at 3 8 of an inch, they would have been a little bit wider. But sewing them at 5 8 of an inch after I widened the pattern did make the straps easier to turn. This is the strap piece. And once you fold it in half, it looks like this. And then this is the strap sewn with 3 eighths of an inch. So this is how wide the actual strap would be once you turn it inside out. I did widen my strap by an inch. This is how the strap looks once it's folded in half. And this is sewn at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So this is the difference between the two. Now once you trim off your seam allowance, this is the widened one, and then I'm going to trim the seam allowance on the smaller one so you can see the difference. The one that's wider is about a quarter of an inch wider than this one here. This is the strap size that I ended up with and this is the strap size that I would have ended up with. So it's only about a quarter of an inch difference. So this is the width that they ended up being and it looks really similar to the width on the pattern. So like I said, I'll have two here and then two will go in the back. I have the bodice all pinned together with the straps and I'm going to stitch all around the bodice area and then I'll be able to reach inside of here and turn the straps to the right side. The bodice is complete and there are the ties at the top and then you do have darts in the bust area of the bodice and then here's the back with the ties and you have like a drop waist in the back and then it does have elastic in the back and this pattern is rated as easy and now I'm about to work on the pants. The ties at the shoulder and the tie in the back does help support the bust area in this garment. All of the ties are adjustable so you can make them as loose or as tight as you need to in order to get the support that you need. Joanne was having a sale on Simplicity patterns and I decided to just go in and look through the catalog just to see if there may be some patterns I wanted to pick up and I ended up getting three. So I picked up 
Simplicity 9389. This is a pattern that came out in 2021. I was looking at this and I was like, I can actually see myself making view A, which is the longer view. I can see myself making that for myself. And I love all the details on this coat. It has details on the shoulders, around the sleeves. There's a belt. You have a high split in the back. There's a button in the back. It has a lot going on, but I actually love that about this. So that's why I picked it up. The next one I picked up was Simplicity 9703. This came out in 2023. And for some reason, I just do not remember seeing this pattern. I just feel like if I had a seen it, I would have picked it up before now, but I was looking through the catalog and I was like, huh, how did I miss this? So I really like the upper portion of the dress, how the fabric just kind of drapes over the shoulders. I just think it's really cute. And this pattern is rated as average and it calls for woven fabrics. The last pattern that I picked up is Simplicity 8797. This is a 2019 pattern and it does call for a lining. I like the longer view and the real reason why I picked this up is it looks easy, but I also thought that it would be great in a Sherpa fabric. Since I love Sherpa so much, I was like, oh, a Sherpa like long coat would be really, really nice. I went shopping and I stopped in Express and I tried on two jumpsuits. This first jumpsuit I thought was really cute, but it was a little short to me and I thought it was a little snug. The second jumpsuit was cute, but it was really short, like the legs didn't go down that far. We went to a different Express so that I can try the first jumpsuit on again in a bigger size. I love the way it looks in the back. It's just so cute. So I was gonna get the jumpsuit, but I decided not to get it because after trying it on, I felt like it looked a little too big. So I just decided not to get it, but I think it is super, super cute. If you're interested, I even saw it on the Express website. My love share is this massage candle. You light the candle and then extinguish the flame. Let it cool to a comfortable temperature. And then you can pour the oils into your hand or on your body and massage it into your skin. Mm -hmm. 